We're here in the Lightbox Museum and Gallery to talk to David Renfrey about his exhibition, We Think the World of You, People and Their Dogs. So I wanted to ask you, David, what inspired you to do portraits of people and their dogs? Got to be very good mates with Alan Will. We lived at the Hotel Chelsea for 20 years and uh, I was doing drawings of Alan and one day he turned up was a dog. Uh, somebody had given him a rescue dog. She was called Honey. It was really the start of a little project. Alan tells of, of her eating film and that sort of thing, you know. Up, up. Well behaved when you oh, she was a, drew her. She was a brilliant dog. And again with colour, the way you balance it with the red of the rug and then the red of the shoes. And are you always true to the actual colours of what's there? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> And again, the, the, the poses, you often, as you say, you move from... You know, that's the pose that was there, you know, that's the pose. Early influence of mine were photographers, because photographers cropped pictures, and mm -hmm. I really liked the way in which they put their image within a space. So, so some, some of the, the great early photographers were sort of influential in their way. And I wanted to talk about the composition because it's very specific in this one, particularly with the sofas. Can you just talk a little bit about the, your process well, in this one? Well, the, the, the composition is absolutely crucial in, in my drawing. The paper size and the image are fundamental to the drawing. So if that's not right, then nothing's right. So I take it quite a long time to work out how. I like uh, images to almost fill the space in some which way but not all over but so they touch at various points and you'll find that that happens in many of my work but this drawing existed only in a line form for a, quite a long time and I went back to see Nicky Nichols and saw I, I, lo I really loved these stripes and I thought I wonder if I should put it on there. So, so with a little trepidation because I, I was happy with the drawing. I, I did. So once I did the, the stripes, I had to do the loafers too. <laughs> <laughs> the yellow loafers. It seems to work. I like to put colour in a certain area, even though it's, it may seem incongruous to, to other people. Wallace, Duchess of Pugs, was a gift because it, she was practically a stuffed dog. I mean, she didn't move. Uh, we're in front of now the portrait of Susan Sarandon and Penny and Rigby. Now, apparently, this was more difficult to do with the, with well, the dogs. <laughs> un unlike Wallace, Duchess of Pug, the, these little uh, beauties were very feisty. A little bit of a fight and a little bit of blood was drawn on the yellow sofa. <laughs> Next time I went, it was a different coloured sofa. <laughs> well, Susan, it, it's so unstarry and such a lovely lovely person to draw. She, she sent me, you know, she'd give me books that I should, she thought I should read and um, just a really genuine super person. And did she tell you lots of stories as well? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Your my lips, lips are sealed. <laughs> <laughs> In the corner is this wonderful cushion. Tell me a little bit about the decision of that. It was a must have. But it was so absurd. It was sort of another presence in this, this ridiculous stag's head on a, on a pillow, as, as they call them in America. I wasn't sure about putting it in the picture, so I, I painted the thing as a separate thing and stuck it there just to see how it looked. And then it, well, it seemed to work, so I, so I painted it onto here instead. Art is a, a truth told by means of lies, and lines in this case. So, uh, you just find a way of making the lines work for you. So can we just talk about the circumstances of this portrait? Well, I've been drawing Ethan long before he got Nina, you know, because he'd been at the Hotel Chelsea for quite a time, a difficult time for him, and um, we became fast friends. And, and um, this is one of, as I say, many, many drawings of him. And uh, when he got Nina, I sort of had, to, just had to have uh, her in, in, in this. And do you also use particular pencils that you draw with, are there certain 
th things that you, you almost have to always use th those kind of tools or brushes in your work? Yeah, I'm a creature of habit. At this time, I was using graphite and I have, have an electric pencil sharpener and an electric eraser. You know, very American. <laughs> this work of Latasha's is rather different from some of the others because you've really covered the whole paper in watercolour. It, it, it does happen. Some, sometimes you want to uh, paint the whole thing, sometimes you don't. The dog was very good. You know, she, <laughs> she was susceptible to bribes. You know, that's, that's the reason. They're virtually the same bows. You know. Those, that's um, Aggie Gunn's two dogs. She always had the, the same breed. I do a lot of drawings of dogs in motion. The, the sketchbook's full of them. Tell me about Blue, your beloved German shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, this is way after he died. Um, but it's, it's, it's sort of him in my memory, if you like. Are you still going to continue no, the no, dogs? You, no, you were right. It's a finite. It, it's, <laughs> it's, it's done. It's dusted. Uh, uh, it's not that I, uh, I still love them as much as I but it, it, it's, I'm working on other things now. Yeah.